What's good, YouTube? We have an amazing piece of Light Sworn slash Twilight Sworn support coming out in Code of the Duelist here, and it's a play on Charge of the Light Brigade in that it is Yami no Shigun, the March of Darkness. That is a really cool art, a really cool name, and I am so hyped. It shows off the Twilight Sworn cards just marching to war rather than charging like the, like the Light Brigade, but it has an amazing similar effect to Charge the Light Brigade in that it's going to be adding a Light Sworn to your hand, but instead of milling, you're going to be banishing, and instead of from the deck, it's from the graveyard. Now, it does have a heavy restriction in that you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. So unlike Charge the Light Brigade, where you can an infinite resource if you draw all of them uh you're stuck it's it's a little more balanced so you can target one light sworn monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand then banish cards from the top of your deck equal to the original level of that monster so the bigger the monster the more that you are banishing it will banish face up unlike pot of desires so you will be able to resource with like your uh twilight lumina your tw all your twilight monsters are going to you know interact more so with your banished than your light sworns will and it's really good for the synergy of the deck. Now you're able to really easy with the other cards you're playing, like Charge the Light Brigade, of course, and Solar Recharge, get cards to your graveyard a lot faster. All the Twilight Swords count as Light Swords as well. This is an amazing piece of utility for the deck that you should be able to access very easily off the bat. Unless you're opening a ton of monsters with no immediate mill effect. And this card. So that, that's the part where I could see it bricking a little bit. Overall, it should be able to be a combo piece instead of a brick. It's just rough to decide how many you're going to run since it's a hard once per turn. You can only activate one of this card per turn. So uh, they, they just... Uh, it's, it's Hikari no Engine for uh, Reinforcements of the Light in Japan. So it's just kind of funny to have this, this sense that they're actually kind of going to battle, yet they're going to be working in the same deck so well. <laughs> it, it's so cool. So don't, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization says, so don't be surprised if we see this card as something like March of the Dark Brigade or Charge of the Twilight Brigade once it hits t the TCG, like, kind of universe. I think this is an amazing piece of support overall, but it's going to, you're not going to max out on it, I think in the first place since it's a hard once per turn and in hands where it is you're gonna end up with frustrating hands in mill decks like light swords and this could add to that element but it's an amazing card nonetheless it's it's definitely an eight out of ten plus for the archetype it's just a matter of you're gonna get frustrated sometimes with it in your hand probably thanks for watching give this a thumbs up if you want to see more card reviews and i i'm enjoying the twilight sworn archetype as a whole the nostalgia factor with the the you know evolution of the deck i love it